Hey guys, Will Prowse. So in this video, we're going to compare lithium batteries to sealed lead acid deep cycle batteries because a lot of people with off-grid solar systems are curious about lithium batteries, but they don't realize how much better lithium batteries are and how they're actually much, much cheaper than a sealed lead acid. So in this video, we're gonna make a comparison. So the first major benefit of using a lithium battery over a sealed lead acid battery is the cycle life. And this is how many times you can discharge the battery down and then recharge it back up again. In a sealed lead acid, you're gonna be lucky if you get 500 to about 800 cycles. In a lithium battery, you can go from 5,000 to about 8,000 cycles. This is insane. For this one reason alone, it makes lithium way cheaper than sealed lead acid batteries. Also, keep in mind that sealed lead acid batteries, when you discharge them too much, it damages them, and then you have a lower cycle life. With lithium batteries, it does occur, but it's not as much. For this reason, you can discharge a lithium battery 100%. With a sealed lead acid battery, you can only discharge it to around 70 or 80% if you want the battery to stay healthy. Most people discharge sealed lead acids down to about 50% and you can do it down to 20%, but you're going to be causing damage. But let's think about this for a second. If a sealed lead acid battery can only be safely discharged to around 70 to 80%, that means a 100 amp hour battery technically only has 20 to 30 amp hours of usable capacity. If you have a 100 amp hour lithium battery, you're getting about five to four times as much the capacity, even though they have the same capacity rating. This also means that if you have a 100 amp hour lead acid battery, you could instead use a 20 or 30 amp hour lithium battery. Another benefit is the efficiency. When you put electricity into a sealed lead acid battery and then you take it out, you lose about 10 to 15%. If the sealed lead acid battery is old or damaged, you're going to have a larger loss. But in lithium batteries, you get around 99% efficiency. So when you put electricity in and you take it out, you are getting 99% back compared to sealed lead acids where you're getting about 85 to 90% back. In a solar system, this is huge. The next benefit is going to be weight. They are much lighter. Lithium batteries are around 30% the weight of a comparable sealed lead acid battery. Also, the form factor is much smaller. For a comparable size lithium battery, it's around 70% of the size of a comparable sealed lead acid. And when you actually use the battery, a lithium battery will outperform a sealed lead acid because the voltage stays constant. In a sealed lead acid battery, as you lower in capacity, the voltage drops quite a bit. In a lithium battery, the voltage stays constant until it is completely dead. And so if you're running a large load, it is very important to have this because you lose performance when you're running with lower voltages, such as in a sealed lead acid battery. The next benefit is gonna be the discharge rate. So if you have a sealed lead acid battery, they're not made for high amperage applications or large loads. So what you do is that you put a lot of sealed lead acids into parallel and then you increase the potential amperage and then you can power large loads. In lithium batteries you don't really have this problem. All lithium batteries give off way more amps a lot easier than a sealed lead acid. This makes it a lot easier to power large loads with smaller batteries. So lithium batteries are simply better for the environment for multiple reasons. The main benefit is that lithium batteries can be recycled and they require less materials from the earth. A lot of the compounds that we use for lead acid batteries are very noxious and you can't recycle them as easily. Also, lithium batteries require virtually zero maintenance and there is no chance that they will give off any kind of gases. A sealed lead acid battery will not give off any gases but if used improperly the little valve on them can give off gases but then it will permanently damage it. Well, lithium battery you simply install it and forget about it. Lithium batteries is that they are simpler to use and you cannot damage them as easily. With a traditional sealed lead acid battery if you over discharge it because you didn't watch the voltage while you were using it, you're going to cause permanent damage. And if you discharge it down to zero, 
one time, it will cause permanent damage. So a lot of people with off-grid systems have to watch the voltage constantly. Compare this to a lithium battery that has a what's called BMS, a battery management system of some form or another. And what this does is it cuts off power if the battery is too low in capacity. So once the battery, a lithium battery, makes it to zero capacity, the battery management system says, okay, there's no more power here. So it cuts off power to all of the appliances. This battery management system also prevents overcharging. So overall, it's a lot easier to use a lithium battery without you know, damaging it. You just simply put it in there and then you're done. A sealed lead acid, you can easily damage it if it's used incorrectly. A lithium battery doesn't allow you to damage it. It has safety features so that you cannot possibly damage it at all. The only way that you could actually damage a lithium battery is if you actually you know, hurt the battery itself and you ruptured one of the cells, or if you over discharged it too fast. So if you short circuited for a prolonged duration, the cells could puff up. But for most applications, if you have a fuse on that battery or if you have a battery management system that has a circuit breaker installed, you don't have to worry about this. So typically this is a non-issue. So to sum it up, the battery will be smaller, it will be lighter, you'll have higher discharge capabilities for the size of battery, you will have a much higher cycle life around six to 10 times as much. You will be able to sustain higher voltages while discharging, which will mean higher performance for all appliances attached to the battery. It is safer for the environment, it is easier to use, there is less chance of you hurting the battery, and the cost is much lower. But why are people not buying lithium batteries? The reason why and why most people buy AGM sealed deep cycle batteries is that they're about roughly half the cost for the same amp hour battery. But in this video, I'm going to tell you right now that if you buy a smaller lithium battery, it is better than a larger AGM sealed battery because of the depth of discharge. So this one factor alone should make you want to buy lithium batteries no matter what. Because a sealed lead acid, you can only discharge to 70 to 80%. So instead of buying a 100 amp hour battery, you can simply buy a 20 or 30 amp hour battery and it will be still comparable. And guess what? It will be about the same price. If you are buying a lithium battery though, I recommend at least buying a 100 amp hour so you can you know, feel the power. You, you will have so much capacity and you will absolutely love it. But if instead, you spent $700 on a lithium battery instead of sealed lead acid battery that's $700, you're still gonna have more power. The problem is people don't see that because they only see the number that is amp hours and they think, oh, lithium battery, I would only be able to have 50 amp hours instead of 300 or something like that. And so when you really look at the cycle life and all factors considered, lithium batteries are way, way cheaper than sealed lead acid batteries. As I hope you guys can understand, the benefits outweigh any cons of a lithium battery. Lithium batteries are the king of solar and that is why we're starting to use them more and more now. As mass manufacturing of lithium batteries increases, the price will decrease. And I feel that sealed lead acid batteries of all forms and varieties, all lead acids will be rendered obsolete, especially when the Gigafactory by Tesla Energy is created. And right now in China, because they're having you know their solar revolution, they're gonna need batteries too. And so, you know, increased mining and increased mass manufacture and manufacturing methods will bring the price down. But you do not need to wait until the price drops. It is still cheaper than a sealed lead acid battery. You can wait till the price drops and where all lead acids are not even on the market because that's where we're headed. But right now, it is cheaper to buy a lithium battery. So if I were you guys, I would buy that and I wouldn't even consider a sealed lead acid battery. Sealed lead acid batteries though are good for some situations. If you're only discharging a 10 to 20% and you have an RV or van that you do not live in full time, then of course, you can easily buy a sealed lead acid battery. And forget about it, some of them are really cheap. Some people don't need much power. If you are powering just a couple lights, a USB charger, and maybe a laptop with a small inverter, then who cares? You can buy some cheap little battery at Walmart and whatever. If it needs to last one year, then it really doesn't matter. If you don't travel that often, which most people do not travel continuously, it does not matter. 
but if you do rely on your lithium battery in your solar system, such as I do, full time for electricity, then a lithium battery makes sense for multiple reasons. So I'm gonna post some links in the description below where you can read more about this stuff. I hope this gets you guys an idea of why lithium is so much better, um, so much cheaper, so much more efficient, so much better for the environment. And thank you so much for watching. I'm also working on a new solar system book and it will go over design aspects that are very straightforward in a sequential order so that anybody can design and build their own off-grid solar system. And I looked up some of the other books and they were horrible. So I'm hoping that this book can really help a lot of people. Check back soon and be sure to subscribe if you want to learn more about my latest book. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.